Hi guys, trust you're all doing well. Um, today we'd like to take you through LinkedIn. Okay, a lot of our candidates and clients we find off LinkedIn that we assist on a regular basis. And many of our candidates have approached us um, stating that they're not sure why they're not being recognized on LinkedIn. Their profiles are not being picked up by recruiters. They're unable to find positions on LinkedIn and that they'd like to optimize their LinkedIn profiles. Now, in order to do so, we're going to take you through the LinkedIn, um, well, the, the LinkedIn network, just showing you ways in which you can improve your profile, and that will assist you in the future by making you an all-star um, candidate. Okay. Now, if you are not a LinkedIn member already, or if you do not have a profile on LinkedIn, when you log in, when you uh, type your LinkedIn in your home, in your toolbar, uh, this is the page that will come up. Okay. On it will either request that you sign in if you're already a member. This is on desktop, remember, it's not on your mobile app. Um, you will either be asked to sign in or you will um, be requested to either join as a new um, member. Okay. Um, in this case, I'm already signed, um, I'm already a member on LinkedIn, so that won't be um, necessary for me. But if you're a new member, you will click the join now. Uh, button on next to sign in you'll click join now and it will give you the information that you'll need to enter in order to have your profile created accordingly okay um, and so what happens in this case once you've done so you agree and join then you, your profile will be created automatically we're going to continue as normal um, just to get into the profile so that we can show you exactly what we are speaking of when we state that um, that we are going to have your profile created for you. Okay, let's just have a look here. Okay, since we already on LinkedIn, we're just going to click on the already assign on the already on LinkedIn and log in accordingly the way we usually do. Okay, so I'm going to take you now to the home page on um, your LinkedIn. Um, it will come up with your profile picture as well as um, about you section, etc. Okay. Um, what you need to understand, this is just a security feature that will pop up as well, um, adding a phone number that adds more security. So if you'd like your contact details to appear on LinkedIn or if you feel that it needs to be stated on there, then you can always put your contact number in there and you can go submit. In this case, we're going to skip that. Um, so we will go directly on to the home, your LinkedIn homepage. Okay, when you get to your LinkedIn homepage, this is what it would look like. Um, in this case, what I'd suggest that you do is, um, if you do not have a profile picture uploaded onto your profile, I suggest that you do have one because it does um, also enhance your profile. It makes recruit, by human nature, you want to look at a picture. So by having a picture on your profile, this will attract a lot of um, recruiters or clients, candidates, followers, contacts will, will attract them to your profile. Once you've clicked on your profile, um, this is you will come to your um, profile section. It will give you the sections, everything about yourself, the etc. Okay. What I suggest you do is please ensure that you fill out all sections. If you have a look here, you would see it states add profile section. If you click on the drop down, it gives you various sections to complete. Co please complete as many as possible with as much information as possible because the more information you provide your recruiter with the better the the the, the, the more the, the higher the, the chance you stand of getting the position or either being shortlisted for a specific position okay if you click on your first drop down you'll see it states intro that's just an introduction as to who uh, who you um when it comes to the top of what your current position is and where you are currently working, etc., then it's a, the, the about me section. That section is a, a tell you can state a, you can give give your give your um, your viewers more information about yourself, what you're looking at, what your beliefs are, where your focus is, what your career uh, choices are, what you're good at, etc. Um, background as well. The background now that will give you. A, a breakdown of various different options okay first you've got your work experience in this case where you're going to add your work experience please ensure if you have a look at this work experience please ensure that you give a breakdown of what it is that you do 
um, if it's a work description with responsibilities or just a brief breakdown of what it is that you currently do in that position. That would be great. Um, in most clients and candidates don't put a work description and this could impact you negatively because we do know what position you state, what position you're in, but we do not know necessarily what you are doing in that position. So if you could give a brief breakdown or work description, um, key responsibilities, etc., just so that we have a brief understanding of what it is that you're doing in that position. Education as well, a lot of people leave out education. This is quite important because we do need to understand what it is that you've studied, what degree you have, what qualifications you have, um, the schools you've attended, whether it was internal training, um, whether it was done through CETA, your mill park, Gibbs, etc. It's something that, that's important to us as well that we need to know as recruiters. Okay. Licenses and certifications. Uh, this in most cases it is if you um, you know you get your auditors and certification, etc., your accountant, uh, your law degree, um, with the etc. All those all those certifications and licenses need to be stated under here. Don't leave it out because it does hold a lot of strength as well. Okay. Volunteer experience, if you've done anything in your community um, or assisted within the, your working environment as well, um, this can be annotated under here as well because it also increases your profile. Skills, in some cases these are automatically generated for yourself uh, as uh, LinkedIn will pick up the skills that you have placed under your work description for each position. So if you've stated that you under, you, you're good at sales and service, marketing, etc., this will be stated under the skills section. With regards to accomplishments as well, under here you're going to have the various accomplishments, uh, you'll have a, uh, a number of various sections as well. Okay, publications, that's if you've ever uh, put through anything, uh, published an article in a newspaper, published it on um, at, uh, if you, during lectures, etc. So it's all to do with, with your publications. Okay. You can go through it as well. It's patents. Then you've got your courses. That could be whether it's internal courses or external courses that you've done. Um, most companies offer internal courses where you complete this um, within the company itself or you have done a course with an, an outside company that also holds strength as well. Projects that you can state what you've done in your current position or in your career. Um, what major projects you've done, whether it be um, assisting with, with being the sole assistant within a, within a certain project. Okay. Um, many project managers might have um, lots to fill in in this section. Um, however, if you've also worked on a project within your current environment or in your career, this can also be stated under there. Honours and awards, something very important. In every organisation you are offered honors and awards, recognition, achievement awards, etc. This can be stated under here. So if you have been recognized for any position or anything that you've done or excelled in, this needs to be stated under here as well. Okay, so that we know what you are good at or what you've done that you've excelled in. Um, test scores is not something that many of you, many of us would like to display. However, uh, if, if you'd like to, then you have this option of placing your, your exam scores or your marks on here. Languages, bearing in mind that in some uh, cases, your recruiter is looking for a multilingual candidate or a bilingual candidate, etc. So under here, you can state the languages that you are fluent in, whether it be your English, Afrikaans, Zulu, Sutu. Um, you have a Hulu, you have a wide range of languages that you can put under there, provided that you are fluent in these languages, or it does give you a proficiency level as well that you can um, include whether you're fluent, uh, semi, etc. So you can state that under there. Organizations, this is usually the organizations that you are a part or a member of. Um, this happens in most cases when you, as I said in previous, it's whether you're an accountant or an auditor, etc., that will fall under there. Okay. Um, with regards to um, the, as I said, I think that we've got one more here at the bottom that will be any additional information that you need to include. Okay. So that will be your last section. And it states request for a recommendation. So if you've worked with somebody, um, 
that you've got that you've worked very well with in the past you can always send a request through to them to put through a recommendation about you on LinkedIn so what they will do is they will then um, put through a, 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 a summary about yourself or the type of person you are etc this will then automatically be transferred onto your LinkedIn homepage to be viewed by recruiters or or your your visitors your connections etc it will show on the home page as well as a recommendation if you have a look on this page you will notice at the bottom there is a recommendation this is what it will look like it will be a recommendation um, it will be the person that's put through the recommendation stating exactly what they've said about you um, it's good to, to to request it from people that you've worked well with in the past so it will be a good recommendation okay um, lastly when when we come through okay that that's to do with the profile section Okay, um, what I suggest you do is if you would like to be contacted by your recruiters, uh, please ensure that your email address is correct, your contact details are correct. In some cases, you do not want your contact telephone number or residential location stated on LinkedIn. That's not a problem because your recruits can also inbox you or email you as well. Um, however, just ensure that most of the information is updated. When it comes to um, career interest, let recruiters know that you're open. If you have a look at, if you scroll down your, your page, you'll notice that you come to a section where it states, um, um, would you let your recruiters know that you're open for positions, etc. That needs to be on. So you're going to click on that button. It will take you to the page where it states career interest. It will give you a, a brief breakdown of what is needed to be placed in there, what type of position you're looking for, etc. Anything you'd like to say about um, what you're looking for so that the recruiter knows. This information gets filtered out through to the recruiters where they can view to see if you are a possible candidate for the positions that they have uh, they have uh, put through or they've promoted or advertised. Okay, so you'll click on that button and it will show that you are now um, available or open for positions that recruiters might have available. And you can just also give a brief breakdown or brief description on there. Okay, at this stage, guys, um, when um, all I need to advise you is that try and put as much information as possible onto your profile. This will enhance it drastically. We will be coming back shortly with more information on LinkedIn and how to apply for positions, um, what more you can do to enhance your profile. Um, this is all that we have for now, but we will be back updating you shortly. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you guys have a good day ahead.